Hello my dear students how are you all welcome to the english class today we are going to see another humorous story of a first unit series see here children i would like to ask you some questions see have you ever asked or demanded your parents any gift have anybody offered you a gift on any occasion like festival or birthday if your parents promised a gift and forgot to give then what would you do would you demand them or request them repeatedly to give the gift if your parents promised a gift for your best performance in the studies would you try to achieve the best result even if you get the average marks if your parents presented the promised gift how would you feel do you feel satisfied or disappointed after getting the gifts after getting the gift would you try to fulfill your parents desires i hope you all understood my questions and uh, dear children try to think about these questions and here come to our lesson now let us see what's our humorous lesson regarding this is a story about a little boy like you so the writer of this lesson is richard rao here children in this lesson the little boy the little boy he comes to his mother and asks a gift on his birthday mother readily rejects his request and she asks him to reflect on his behavior over that year and mother puts a question to bobby whether he deserves that gift bobby asks a red bike on his birthday but mother rejects why why mother readily rejects to give that gift children you please understand why parents rejects our request see when you follow the instructions when you follow the orders and when you follow the uh, whatever the they feel at the time your parents never say no to you understand but here mother rejects why mother rejects Bobby's proposal because Bobby has been a trouble maker. Bobby has been a trouble maker. Okay, let us see what are the characters in this story. The main characters, three characters. See here, Bobby, mother, and third character, Jesse. a pet dog a pet dog so here if you see little means small little means small and bobby bobby the meaning of bobby in german language is faint bright shiny and a fame means popular bright means intelligent shiny means successful do you understand but here completely opposite to this the little bobby is very different he was a trouble maker what's a trouble maker let us see trouble maker is a person who often causes troubles who often trouble maker is a person who often causes trouble understand here 
ट्रबल मेकर मीन्स नॉट ही नॉट ही मीन्स यस अ पर्सन हु ऑलवेज बिहेव्स बैड नॉट ही बिहेवियर अंडर मिस्टीवस हियर यू कैन सी द मीनिंग ऑफ नॉट ही बैडली बिहेव the parts of speech of not is adjective here mischievous what is mischievous the parts of speech of mischievous is adjective and you see is this one simply playful or able or tending to cause annoyance or trouble annoyance means irritation chika okay he causes annoyance or trouble it's called mischievous and bad behavior you know very well what is good behavior and what is bad behavior following elders instructions parents and teachers it's good behavior and uh, telling lies stealing things and uh, uh, missing the classes becoming absent to school these are all are bad behavior right and here disobedient obedient means following the rules regulations and the socially acceptable behavior obedience disobedience means opposite to obedience that is called disobedience and disobedient is adjective disobedience disobedience is noun and here irregular irregular to school irregular to do work regular opposite irregular so a person who skips the work he is irregular a person who skips from the school he is irregular to school so it's irregularity and indiscipline what do you mean by indiscipline discipline the word discipline derived from disciple disciple means what student so discipline is the one of the most important quality of a disciple so a person who is a discipline who is a disciplined he achieves his goals here little bobby is indiscipline and if you see he is a non punctual non punctual means what here you can see sun moon stars galaxy earth every time they follow punctuality they are very punctual that's why they are able to run successfully over billions of years understand so the person who is punctual he is successful so we must always be punctual understand here little bobby is non punctual and if you see he is indecent decent means yes decent means socially acceptable decent what's the speech of decent is adjective decent means socially acceptable or good that is called decent here he is indecent opposite to decent indecent socially unacceptable or bad that is called indecent and here promise breaker he does promise but he breaks promises little bobby is promise breaker and you see wayward he was a wayward wayward means is hard to control it's a very hard to control his behavior understand that is called wayward and see he had poor performance poor performance performance was poor in the studies these all are the qualities of a trouble maker these all are the qualities of a trouble maker understand these many negative qualities comes under this word trouble
ट्रबल मेकर सो हियर लिटिल बाबी वाज अ ट्रबल मेकर इवन एट स्कूल एंड एट होम दैट्स व्हाई मदर आस्क हिम whether he deserves the gift whether he deserves a gift understand then she asks mother asks to reflect on his behavior over the last year so then she here when mother asks him she wanted bobby to write letter to god she wanted him to write letter to god why he deserves the birthday gift understand now here is the story i am reading for you here see little bobby came into the kitchen where his mother was making dinner here mother was making dinner His birthday was coming up, and he thought this was a good time to tell his mother what he wanted. See, children, when mother was doing some work in the kitchen at the time, generally whatever we feel to talk, we go and talk. Same like that, Bobby also entered the kitchen while his mother was preparing dinner in the kitchen, and then, Mom, I want to buy for my birthday. Little Bobby was a bit of troublemaker. Here we have seen what is a troublemaker. Okay, he had got into trouble at school and at home. Bobby's mother asked him if he thought he deserved to get a bike for his birthday. If he thought he deserves, deserve means what? Deserve means qualified to have something. Qualified to have something, it's called deserve. Whether he deserves the bike or not, mother asked him. Little Bobby, of course, thought he did. Bobby's mother wanted Bobby to reflect on his behavior over the last year and say, "Go to your room, Bobby, and think about how you have behaved this year." Then write a letter to God and tell Him why you deserve a bike for your birthday. Okay, you go to your room and you reflect on your own behavior now over last year and write a letter to God, asking Him, telling Him why you deserve a bike. Okay. And here, little Bobby stumbled up the steps to his room. Jesse, his pet dog, followed him. Bobby thought for some time and sat down to write a letter to God. Jesse sat beside him and started watching what Bobby was doing. Here, when mother asked Bobby to go to his room and write a letter to God, telling him the reason why he deserves the letter, the bike. Why he deserves the gift on his birthday? Then Bobby stumbled up the steps. And uh, Jesse is a pet dog of Bobby. It follows him to his room. And stomp means stomped means what? Walked in an icy way in upset mood. Walked in an icy way in upset mood. That is called stomp. Here, Bobby stumbled up to the to his room, and he asked, "Why he is upset?" Yes, yeah. His mother asked him why he deserves the gift, and asked him to write a letter to God. Then, generally, when we were rejected compulsorily, we get upset mood. Understand? Here. Bobby started writing it. Letter one, dear God, I have been a very good boy this year, and I would like a birthday for me. Sorry, I would like a bike for my birthday. I want a red one. Your friend Bobby. 
Here, Bobby treated God as his friend. Okay. See how innocently he felt God as his friend. And here, I have been a very good boy this year. He wrote, he has been a good boy that year. But really, it's not correct. It's not the truth. Understand? And next. And Bobby knew that this wasn't true. He had not been a very good boy this year. So he tore up the letter and started going to write another letter. So he knew very well that this was not correct. And that's why he realized it at once and he tore up. Tear, tore, tore. Tear, tore, tore. See here, he tore up the letter. Why did he tear the letter? Because he felt that was not true. Understand? Here, he started writing another letter. Here goes second letter. Dear God, this is your friend Bobby. I have been a good boy this year and I would like a red boy for my birthday. Thank you. Your friend Bobby. And see here, in the second letter, what is the difference? He removed very. In the first letter, he said he was very good boy. Now in the second letter, he removed very and he said that he was a good boy that year. And that's why he wanted a gift on his birthday that is a red boy, especially red one. Okay. And here, Bobby knew that this wasn't true either. This wasn't true either. You know very well. Not very good boy, not good boy. This wasn't either. This wasn't also true. First one also false. Second letter also false. So, he tore up the letter again. He tore up the letter and started again. Now, he started another letter, third letter. You see here, dear God, I have been an okay boy this year. An okay boy this year. I still would really like a bike for my boy today. Bobby. See, he said, not very good boy, not good boy. Here in this third letter, he mentioned he was okay boy. Just okay boy. And Bobby knew he could not send this letter to God either. So Bobby wrote the fourth letter. Bobby wrote the fourth letter. You think he know very well that he could not send that letter also. That's why he wrote the fourth letter. Okay. Now in the fourth letter, he mentioned God. I know I have not been a good boy this year. I am very sorry. I will be a good boy if you just send me a bike for my birthday. Please. Thank you, Bobby. See, in this fourth letter, you can observe that realization came. Bobby realized that I know I have not been a good boy. I have not been a good boy this year. I am very sorry. Very sorry. He admitted his mistake. He asked sorry. He apologized. Understand? I am very sorry. I will be a good boy if you just send me a bike for my birthday. If you send me a bike, I will be. In future, I will be a good boy. Okay. Please. He requested God. Please. Thank you. Okay. And in the fourth letter, you can understand how some change occurred in little Bobby's behavior. Right, children? So, Bobby knew, even if it was true, this letter was not going to get him a bike. Even if the fourth letter was true, that means in future, if he gets a bike, he is going to be a good boy. If it is true also. He knew very well that uh, that letter was not going to get a bike for him. And that's why what he did see. Let us see after this letter what Bobby is going to do. Now Bobby was very upset. After writing the fourth letter, 
he understood that that letter also not it would it will not bring him a gift read by him. and that's why he was upset after the trial he was upset now he went downstairs and told his mom that he wanted to go to church he wanted to go to church he told his mom okay then bobby's mother thought that her plan had worked bobby's mother felt happy that her plan had worked some realization came okay and here yes bobby looked very sad yes bobby looked very sad after writing the letters mother understood that her plan had worked okay here just be home in time for dinner bobby's mother told him bobby's mother told him to be in time for dinner bobby walked down the street to the church on the corner little bobby went into the church and up to the altar there bobby went to the went into the church and he went to went up to the altar altar is the place where the statues idols are kept in a church okay here little bobby he looked around to see if anyone was there why did he look around to see anyone was there yes bobby went down and picked up a small statue of mary the mother of god then what did bobby do bobby went down and he picked up the small statue of mary the mother of god who is mary mother of jesus and he slipped the statue under his shirt and ran out of the church down the street into the house and up to his room okay what did he do he slipped the statue under his shirt and ran out of the church down the street and then into the house and up to his room here he shut the door of his room and sat down with a piece of paper and pen now bobby began to write this letter to god his letter to god the fifth letter what did he write let us see god i have been down to your mom if you want to see her again send the bike bobby see how he has written this letter he wrote that he kidnapped god's mom i have kidnapped your mom so if you want to see her again if you want to see your mom again you send the boy bobby see here how funny he wrote the letter so here this is the i can see. what is the humorous quality of this letter what do you feel about this letter see how bobby behaved at last so he never give up his quality of uh, mischief that means his uh, quality and uh, he behaved the same manner as he was in the beginning understand my dear children here hope you all understood the story of this little bobby and uh, children will go to any extent to get what they desire and uh, they what they wanted for that they will do any type of thing so it's not good children you feel in your mind bad behavior and uh, bad qualities never give a person good name and uh, status please try to obey your parents please try to follow the parents words 
elders and teachers so that you achieve your goals and ambitions okay i think you all understood the lesson that you bobby right children we shall go for the recapitulation of the lesson in the next class right wish you good luck children bye